Hi there, this is a quick Tableau tutorial from Data Source Rex, looking at what the difference between the green pill and the blue pills are in the interface. And once you come to finish this video, hopefully you'll like them as much as me. So the first two questions I get about these kind of pill colors, first one is, are there different colors? And people like, you know, a lot of people use Tableau and don't even realize, but there are, and you'll kind of see the blue and the green ones when you either you put them in the columns or row areas or equally with, even within the data sets with the dimensions and measures area, you can kind of see them here. Second question is, what's the difference between them? And essentially, you know, which pill should I choose? And we're going to help you answer those by just giving a better understanding of what's going on. Um, so the difference is between them, first one you've got discrete, they're the blue pills, and they're pretty much finite values. So they're kind of like labels, or like there's only a certain number of things you can have. So they could be names or geo, that kind of stuff. Whereas with continuous, the green bars or pills, um, they can be like a range. They're typically numerical values or dates, but dates can be discrete as well, but we'll cover that in another tutorial. But essentially, you know, they're just numbers uh, for, for the simplest reasons. So again, they can be between any range. So, you know, this profit could be from negative a million to um, plus a million or infinity, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, they have different effects when you put them into different locations. So let's just cover those. So when you put them into rows and columns, with discrete blue pills, treat them like headers. It's kind of how you break out or kind of segment your charts. So here, look, we put category in and we've got one, two, three, very clear in table. But if we put two pills in, you, it's now broken out in kind of a more structured way. But again, you're in control of this. Uh, we continuous things. These are more like values in the axis or, or the tables you put in. So again, they can be anything. They can get chopped up and be broken out to different headers. But essentially, you know, you kind of see what's going on here. And you can actually use them in combination to you can you know, start to control the view. You know, with a mixture of discrete and continuous. So when you put these into filters, um, the discrete values, again, because they're kind of finite, they're like checkboxes or limited range, so in a drop down or a slider. But when you put them into continuous values, into filter, they're more like a range or a scale. So again, you have complete control. I only want to see values between here and here, or above a certain amount or below a certain amount. Again, putting you in control of what you see on the map or on the data visualization. Um, when you put them into the color area, uh, discrete values, again, because they are fixed, they're more like blocks of color. Like one color occupies a certain category. You know, here it's just easier to view which ones are which if you have a good legend and kind of your eyes are drawn to the right areas. But if you put them in continuous, because it's a range, it's more like a spectrum. So from like this value to this value, you can have any combination in between and the colors will gradually represent that. Um, again, putting you in control of like visuals so your eyes are drawn to the good values and the not so good values. And so yeah, this is kind of like a summary. So, you know, just for your reference, this is all on the website as well. Click in the link in the description below. And uh, just one thing to note, a couple of things. This is just a simple overview. There's way more complexity, but it's just to get your head around things. It's designed to help you understand what your actions actually do and how Tableau translates them. So you're not just like magically trusting it. And if you do get into an issue where you need more control, hopefully this will empower you. And you've got countless combinations as well, remember that. So you can put discrete or continuous values and sizes, shapes, and colors, and do any combination of these as we saw. So explore, show me what you can make, put them in the comments below, I'd love to see them. And lastly, dates, just a bit of a caveat, they can be continuous and discrete, uh, different use cases, you know, whether you're using it to visually represent data or put them into equations. Um, but we'll have another tutorial on that coming up later. Cool, and uh, that's it. So if you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe and uh, check out some of the other tutorials on over here uh, to see if there's anything else which I can help you out with. And if you've got a burning issue you want me to tackle, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help. Cool. Until the next time. Thank you.